Hello guys and welcome to different Russia channel. I'm on my way to the delivery company to get my online order. That is some powdered milk or dry milk. I don't know how you call it. Uh, so I cook sweets out of that milk. Uh, so was a problem to find in offline shop ordered online the price is a little bit higher but well at least I can order uh, the plan guys is uh, to show some uh, cook vlogs cooking vlogs uh, Alex agreed to cook <laughs> uh, I don't know whether he will change his mind or not so at the moment he's very optimistic about uh, some cooking videos so also some update on Sheffield's treatment uh, on the 11th of March Sheffield uh, had a surgery on his paw three big lipomas were removed from his paw and for about 10 days we went to the clinic because uh, there was some kind of after surgery uh, treatment or so I don't know how to call it so the doctor checked uh, Sheffield's paw uh, put some injections so and today today was the final <laughs> visit with that paw uh, so and very unexpectedly very unexpectedly I noticed blood in Sheffield's eye and the doctor checked the eye and could find some not very pleasant thing. The doctor had some uh, free time between the surgeries and uh, she offered to perform a surgery on Sheffield's eye. She said that this thing would not disappear uh, by itself and sooner or later the surgery would be a must. Uh, and as um, she had time so we decided not to wait and to uh, to do this surgery uh, because now we have some problems with pills uh, with some medicine and besides everything becomes more expensive and um, to pay to the work of the doctor also will be uh, more expensive I think in one or two months uh, so this thing uh, was growing uh, but we did not notice it it was black and Sheffy is black so and it is on Sheffield's eyelid so I did not see it and after a thorough examination the doctor could find one more such thing on another eye uh, on one eye the thing was rather big and it was bleeding on the other eye uh, that thing is rather small and at the moment it is not necessary to remove it so no emergency with it uh, so uh, today uh, Sheffield had his uh, second surgery today is the 25th of March in the morning uh, uh, Sheffield had that surgery on his eye uh, and now he is sleeping at home uh, I can't say that he is um, incredibly fine. Uh, I checked the English name of it. I think you call it itchy eye. So he is trying to scratch his eye uh, because it is rather painful for him. Uh, there are some thread in his eyelid, uh, some stitches, and I think Shafi is trying to get rid of uh, this. Uh, stitch uh, because it is not comfortable for him to close and open his eye uh, at the moment he is in his cone cola plastic cone cola uh, and Alex is uh, watching him uh, because every time we stop watching Sheffield uh, starts uh, to scratch to scratch his paw, to scratch his eye, so 
we try to watch him almost every every minute at the moment it is the most important thing not to disturb those stitches in his eye so if they are apart that will be a big problem but at the moment uh, alex is watching and i i'm on my way to the shop uh, I had to do it, I think, two days ago, but also had problems with my health and, well, some other things at work. I so go now, because they can cancel my order and that won't be very good for me, because prices go up and at the moment this milk is more expensive what about the situation in general in general everything as it was several days ago uh, people try to buy food that is good for a long period and uh, so they stock up but at the moment not very actively because they have less money and the prices are already rather high so uh, now is rather late to stock up so if only some necessary things at the moment uh, so. we have a big storage of everything <laughs> I hope that we can survive for several months and then well what happened it will happen I try not to film people because the majority of them do not like it. I go to Wildberries, that is our big online store, like your, I don't know, Amazon. So they sell everything. They work with many companies and uh, they provide the delivery. That is like AliExpress or Amazon. I think it's like that. Wildberries is our, I think, biggest online company. Maybe the most popular. Some people like it, some not. So it's difficult to say whether it is the best company or not. Wildberries, you see? And that is the pharmacy where I went a few days ago to buy my pills. So guys, got my order very successfully without any problems. Now we'll cook sweets and we'll show you a very simple way how to cook yummy and healthy sweets. Also went to the pharmacy to ask some pills for Shefi to put on his eyelid. That is guys one of the reasons why we decided not to wait for a long time with Sheffield surgery. The prices are crazy, on pills really crazy, but at least we still can buy them, that is good. That is, guys, our Vaxalne street. There was a question about criminals if we have criminals here of course guys any city any town any village has criminals as for 
For example, this metal nets on the windows. They appeared here a long time ago, in the times of Perestroika. That was a rather difficult time, and those who lived on the ground floor, on the first floor, they tried to put metal nets on windows. And still they are here, because once they were installed, they are here forever. You see? If you are in some area and you see such nets on windows, that means this area is not very safe. But as for particular this place, I can tell you that it is not so, because these nets appeared here 30 years ago. So, at that time it was, I think, a must. At the moment, well, <laughs> if you go and have a look at new houses, you won't see them on the windows. And hope that will be in the future. But who knows what will be in the future. Now it is difficult to predict anything. So, hope everything will be fine. Of course, I do not advise you to walk alone late at night and to show expensive, I don't know, iPhones or some other things. It can attract uh, some bad people. So, but in general, in Moscow and in Fryazina, in our provincial town, everything is rather safe. So guys, thank you for watching. If you have questions, ask them in comments. I will try to make video answers to your questions. Because at the moment I get too many letters and I simply cannot answer everyone. Alex is trying to help me. Uh, he is answering comments on the uh, YouTube videos. So, if you get a comment, that is mostly from Alex. And uh, on Telegram, Rina and Dave help me a lot. So, if not their help, uh, I could not afford to have that group. I would have only the channel with no comments. Because it is really difficult to follow everything and it's almost impossible to answer everyone so i spend about two hours on answering questions mostly i answer to those whom i know for a long time and to my patrons sorry at the moment uh, that is so hope it will be better soon but at the moment it is like so